My name's John Sexton, and I am a consultant and appraiser of Civil War memorabilia. I've been doing this for over 30 years, and uh, I only set up at a handful of trade shows, but this is one of the best in the country. It's one of the oldest, best attended, well vetted, pretty much mostly real material. I'm Steve Sylvia. I publish North South Traders Civil War magazine, and uh, I'm also the host of this particular show. We put this on every year and uh, have been doing so since uh, the mid-70s. Well, my name's Shannon Pritchard, and I'm a full-time Confederate antiques dealer. That a, a, seems a rather odd title, because there aren't many full-time Confederate antiques dealers. This uniform is particularly beautiful to me. It's from the late 1820s to the early 1830s. This pistol here is dated 1760. This is called a heavy dragoon. A sword like this is in very, very high condition. The last one that sold in auction sold for 13,000 and change. So this is uh, the uniform of uh, Philip Preston Johnston. He was wounded at least once in this uniform, maybe twice. Um, but we do have the, uh, the entry wound right up here in his, in his right armpit. A whole lot of the material comes out of attics. Um, a lot of it is exchanged from, of course, from dealer to dealer, or a collection will come on the market because the collector has passed away or has reached a stage in his life where he can no longer actively maintain and conserve the collection, and so it hits the market. I have brought a three-inch ordnance rifle that uh, uh, I have discovered the history of. This, this gun was one of six that were captured by Custer on October 9th, uh, 1864. And it's one of the few light artillery weapons that has a documented pedigreed history. How did you get into the business? It, it was a hobby, uh, an addiction. And uh, I originally started collecting, but in order to feed my habit, my addiction, to get my next fix, I had to buy something. And in order to get the next fix, I had to sell something to buy something else. 